Hello, welcome to another Tonalist Landscape Oil Painting Demonstration. This is your, I'm going to move this microphone, painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy. And the painting I'm bringing you today is called Monochromatic Field and Stream. It is yet another monochromatic painting, but um, I was sort of testing out a new camera here, and uh, I knew I could I could do the monochromatic fairly quickly so that was the idea and you can see I'm apologizing there's, there's a little bit of wavering uh, as it's trying struggling to focus there's a few settings I had to fix but um uh, we're gonna we're gonna watch that and I'm going to be talking a little bit about uh, change to the channel which is uh, there's a little video announcing it but I'm gonna go a little further in depth here and that is channel memberships 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 What's exciting about this is that it's going to allow me to put up the live videos with no ads running in them. So if you want to have them like running in the background in your studio as you're painting or, you know, whatever. It's, it's something that's sort of bothered me ever since YouTube has implemented this um, new auto. If you have ads in the middle at all, they automatically insert them. And I think they put in quite a few, oh, which is good. I mean, because uh, I get... Uh, you know some payment off of that but honestly it wouldn't take very many of you mem uh, to join up and become members uh, to easily equal that uh, the the cost is going to be uh, $5.99 US per a month and uh, what I've done is I've taken all of the videos that were live uh, up and demonetized them and uh, they're all going to be available to members so if you saw these in the past, awesome, not a problem, right? And then going forward, I'll continue to do the 15-minute videos uh, like this one. And uh, there will be a live version as well, which will be available to uh, members. And um, I, I've waited to do this for quite a while because I'm very much into trying to include everyone. But I think this is a very fair uh, result. The the benefits you get from the live videos is it's very much like the um, up, very much like the experience of being live in my studio as I paint. It's not any different than if you were a student there, honestly. So they're they're valuable and they're they're great, and I will continue to do them uh, even if it's only very few members on the channel. Um, it just gives me some flexibility. Uh, one way it may give me flexibility is that I can play alternative music since I'm not trying to monetize these videos. Uh, but we'll, we're going to go, we're going to play that by ear. I may do an experimental one um, just to see if there's some sort of uh, ramifications for that. But that would be awesome. And uh, yeah. So this is just, there. like I said, there's an announcement. This is going a little further in depth with it. But, you know, the other thing is, is like, uh, there's, uh, I've had in mind like a little series of like um, more instructionally oriented videos, but I, I didn't really, I, I've, I've, I mean, I've had this in my mind for, you know, five years now, uh, ever since I got, you know, pretty good at, at landscape painting. And initially, I was thinking of setting up like a website and charging a membership for that. But uh, this wouldn't be much different, to be honest. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very much thinking of including that as a bonus for the membership. Maybe like one a month, since I'd have to actually, you know, come up with a lesson plan. And uh, but the great thing about those is that it would, uh, it would definitely be something that you could use as a reference to. Uh, Oh, I want to know about glazing, or I want to know about uh, what sort of uh, one video I've had in my mind for a long time would be like one that just showed you different ways to handle the brush in different situations. I see very few painters even getting into that, and I don't get into it because it could be a little pedantic for your average casual viewer, but that gets into the other reason I've done this. I don't think the live videos are for the casual viewer, so I'm going to continue to put up these 15-minute ones. And I, uh, if you're a regular viewer of the channel, it's, uh, I'm going to really make an effort to get more information into those and maybe a little less, you know, burbling about uh, what's going on in the studio. Although there's always going to be some of that too. I mean, they're 15 minutes long. Um, 
speaking of, if you've made it this far and you're thinking, oh man, I really want to know more about how we did this uh, painting. Uh, first off, um, I prepped the board. It's masonite, but I prepped it with a gray gesso, which is a combination of white and black gesso. And two coats, sanded lightly in between. Um, in this case, I wanted a little bit of a texture on the board, a very light pebbly texture, uh, which I could, you know, kind of get used for certain effects if I'm dragging my brush or whatever. Um, but you could also do it very smooth if you just sand a bit more in between layers. So you need to do at least two layers. Also, I'm doing everything you see right now with uh, black spinel and my painting medium, which is Archival Oils brand Odorless Lean. Uh, this is a quick drying medium that I really like and have been using for years. It's a, it's like a liquid type of uh, medium, but it's a little more fluid. It acts just like if you were using linseed oil. It's no different. Um, the difference is though that the painting will be drier quicker. And I don't see any downsides to alkaloids personally. I see a lot of people saying they don't like them and stuff, but they never really present good reasons why to, to my ears. I've been using alkaloids from the from the start because uh, you know from early on when I first started with oil paints I was you know like 15 years old I bought some and I was just really let down by how long they took to dry and <laughs> well, what a struggle the whole process was you know. Um, the other thing I kind of wanted to talk about here I mentioned this in uh, the, uh, the live uh, the last live monochromatic I'm not just using black and white here. Um, when I start getting into the middle grays, which I'm putting on right now, I'm adding small amounts of raw umber. And not so much that you would even perceive a, a brown shift, um, but more to just make sure I'm sort of matching the tone of the board, which was kind of warm. Um, and I didn't want the painting to be too cool. I was sort of shooting for a neutral. Um, also, there's it's, it's sort of nice to have little like uh, what they call it micro color shifts right we've got grays but when you bring in that that extra element of the raw umber um, you know to me I was it wasn't so much that wasn't so much my thinking when I brought it in I was just thinking you know I'm very intuitive so I was thinking yeah I want to balance this out I, I, this is too cool feeling for me right now um, and but it's probably something I'll incorporate into uh, my my further monochromatic paintings. Now there will be a, a full-length live version of this and um, again one of the reasons I did this monochromatic right on the heels of the last monochromatic was um, I knew that I could do this in you know a, a couple of hours and uh, so uh, it, I was using a new camera and I, I definitely didn't want to invest you know tons of time into uh, a painting only to find out that the footage wasn't that great and there was a little bit of a freak out at the beginning of the video when I saw it at home because the camera was struggling to adjust and I think that was um, uh, stabilization turned on on the camera and other things so I still gonna be experimenting with it but it's basically the same brand camera I know it'll get good results and yeah, as the painting started appearing what what it was struggling with was trying to find something to focus on. It kept focusing on that little gold knob you see behind the painting. <laughs> anyway, hopefully uh, you uh, you know you're gonna join my channel. You know, uh, five ninety nine. Uh, let's see, that's two bags of candy. <laughs> that's maybe two bags of potato chips. It's maybe one and a half Starbucks coffees. Um. It's not a lot of money, but you know, if you're if you're not into it, I understand. I, I resist uh, plenty of memberships myself, you know. Although there are a few channels I do subscribe to, and there's people I subscribe to in Patreon. I've tried that on the channel before, and that was a dud. Uh, subscribe star as well, but this way I, I feel like it's totally fair. I'm going to be monetizing the 15-minute videos, which are just the same format I've done for most of the history of the channel that won't be changing um, a lot of people that uh, weren't into live won't miss anything at all a lot of people don't have a um, two to seven hour time commitment but uh, and those that do I mean I, I felt really bad about uh, inflicting those ads on you so um, spare yourself the ads take your time with the videos you know keep it open in a tab 
And you know, it's the, the the fact of the matter is is that you could just go, you know, binge on everything, um, and then drop the membership later, right? I don't I don't mind. I I'm here to make uh, you know one of the things uh, I kind of want to say is that you know my personality is to be a, a giver, not a taker. Um, and that's why I've been giving on YouTube the whole time um, that I've been on here and I'm going to continue to do that. I'm very open uh, with sharing information. I don't really don't hold, hold anything back. Um, if there's one thing I hold back, which I might get into for memberships, we'll see. Um, it's a bit more about how I process my reference prior to um, even doing the painting. That would be something that I really don't share on YouTube and there's a couple reasons for that. One is that um, it's a bit arcane. You need to be kind of knowledgeable about um, software and, and computer programs to pull off some of the stuff I do also. Uh, many times the images I produce are garish, they're ugly and I just don't, you know, they're just designed for one purpose and that is to be utilized as fodder to stimulate my imagination because that is the key to creating really nice paintings. It's taken me years to learn that. I've said it on the channel over and over and over again and I'll continue to repeat myself. Um, it's been an awesome like 11 months sharing this stuff live and it's going to be an awesome uh, going forward where I know that I can uh, get even more in depth and that there's a, a bit of a reciprocation of energy between me and the students um, when I have a student and, and if you ask any of my students here where I live um, about me as a teacher they will tell you they will describe me in one word and that is over delivers I am if you're one of my students once I'm there for you forever to help you get through a painting if it's troubling you um, and that's basically something you'll you, a lot of you already know this you can send me an email and say hey what do you think of this painting and I'll give you my honest opinion um, but you know you might even feel more comfortable doing that hold on oh sorry about that the dog was here in my office I had the door closed because I'm uh, recording with this microphone sorry about that uh, and my wife was going outside and he was like I gotta go I gotta go with her oh my god you know how it is Anyway, uh, yeah, it's all about uh, recipro reciprocation of energy, and trust me, you'll get much more back than you put in. That's just how I am, and that's just how I like to be. And uh, it's funny, early on, when they're at the Quarry Art Center, you know, I know a lot of artists there, and some of them are very, very tight with the uh, what they know. Uh, I was confronted with this early on at the quarry when artists would show up and say, oh, how are you doing this? How are you doing that? I had to make a decision, you know, am I going to be open or am I going to be closed, right? And uh, I made a decision to just be open and uh, I followed through on that pretty much. You know, uh, there's been reservations. If you look at the earliest videos on the channel, you can see I don't give away all that much. but. To me, even even being able to see this, even it be how how is somebody putting a painting together? The, I've I've tried to point that out to uh, so many people on the channel over the years. It's like that, that's already a miracle. You you know what you you're right. you want more. That's that's great. We all want more. But I'm old. I remember you know being starved to to see people paint, see people put things together, and now it's. It's not just me. I mean, there's all kinds of people sharing, um, but very few share as extensively as I do. Even if you just count the 50-minute videos, they're not abridged in any way. They're just sped up. There's a slowdown feature. If you don't want to hear me talk, put on some tunes. Anyway, that's a bit more information on the memberships. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you. Even if you're just giving me likes and comments, even if you're just coming to watch appreciate you so much and if you join as a member I appreciate you even more because uh, hey you're helping me out and uh, I'll help you out too 
So until I come back with another video, do me a favor, please, take good care, stay out of trouble.